Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Kundalini by Candlelight. My name is Kathleen Osman. Our series of exercises today is folding and unfolding of the energy, working in the third chakra or the navel point. It's explained as being simple exercises that stimulate the psyche, sciatic nerve, the energy there, and the main meridian in the brain or the vagus nerve. Slowly and gradually as we practice these exercises and increase the length of time, we develop a sense of settle, of being settled and feeling calm. We're not going to practice these exercises extremely long for each one today, but I think that you will find by the end, you had a little bit of a workout. <laughs> Get your water in case you need to take a sip. Please remember if you find any of these exercises too challenging or too difficult, modify where you can. You'll see me do so because of my hips. I have metal hips for those of you that don't know. Um, I have other students with various challenges that find that certain exercises they need to modify. Modify, modify, modify. Kundalini is for everyone. Even if you find you must sit in cross-leg pose, close your eyes and imagine yourself doing it perfectly, you will get the same outstanding results. So grab your water, grab your mat, and grab an attitude of gratitude. And let's get together for Kundalini by Candlelight. Coming to a seated position, rocking back and forth on the sit bones, finding that comfortable spot, that sweet spot where we can just settle in. Taking a moment to close down the eyelids, lengthen the spine. Roll the shoulders up to the ears, down the back, feel them settle. Chest shines forward, big breath in, and out. Excellent. One more breath in, and out. As we sit here in wonderful, perfect, quiet silence, I'm going to share with you some solar plexus affirmations. Sorry, I've got a little bit of reverb, so I'm going to go in and mute everybody. There. Perfect. All right. Again, sitting nice and tall. Our eyes are closed. These affirmations I have today come from thepathprovides.com. I found them kind of inter interesting. These are solar plexus chakra affirmations. I honor the power within me. I honor myself. I accomplish tasks easily and effortlessly. The fire within me burns through all blocks and fears. I can do everything that I desire. I stand in my power. I am strong. I release judgment of other and of myself. I am manifesting easily and gracefully. I am worthy of love, kindness, and respect. I am the embodiment of inner peace and confidence. 
taking a moment now to consider those affirmations that I shared. Maybe one resonates with you, or perhaps you have your own personal thought, idea, wish, intention. We bring it now to heart center, lock it in with both hands continue to breathe slow and deep and then the chest rise and fall under the hands wonderful now let's bring palms together gentle rub Settling the hands, the mudra, the heart center, pressing thumbs gently into the sternum, taking a moment to roll the shoulders down and back, tuck the belly button towards the spine, lengthen from tailbone to the top of the head, and with eyes closed, we'll inhale and exhale two full breaths, and then begin our opening mantra, Ong Namo Gurudev Namo. I bow to the teacher within. Inhale deeply with me. And exhale. And one more deep breath in. And exhale. And we'll inhale to begin. Still sitting tall, deep breath in. Hold the breath at the top with that chest shining forward, the heart shining ahead. Considering our intention, slowly, gently relax the breath, hands down to the thighs. Beautiful. We're going to come down on our backs to start warm ups today. We're going to begin with double leg lifts. So coming down to lie on your back, legs can be straight out in front, arms down at the sides, palms down either beside the tush or if you want a little bit of extra support underneath the tush. And then we're going to lift legs up to 90 degrees, pointing toes and slowly release them back down, lifting legs up and down. Modification for this exercise, sorry, as I cue up my trusty timer, is to bend knees on the way up. Lifting up and down. Use whatever version works for you. Remembering to pull the belly button to the spine. Push the lower back into the ground for additional support. Remember to breathe. Twenty seconds left. Ten seconds. Bringing the legs up to 90 degrees, having a deep breath in here. And as we exhale, slowly lowering the legs down to the ground. 
Excellent. Moving to bridge pose. As the legs come down to the ground, we bring them close up to the buttocks. Hands down the sides, fingers, and possibly thumbs touch your heels. And on the inhale, we're pushing the tush up into the air. And on the exhale, slowly rolling down the spine, one vertebrae at a time. Inhale up, exhale down. Twenty seconds left. Let's push up together into both feet, raising that tush up in the air, holding at the top and holding breath. Now rolling down slowly, gently relaxing the breath as the tush comes back down to the ground. Excellent work. Rolling to one side, taking your time, coming up to a seated position. We're going to move to our next warm up exercise, neck rolls. Finding yourself seated comfortably in easy cross leg pose. Nice and tall, very good. Hands on the thighs, palms face down. We're dropping right ear to right shoulder. Inhaling as the head circles across the back and exhaling as it comes across the front. Slow and steady. Options if neck rolls do not work for you is to not Back for inhale, front for exhale, or twist the head. Inhale, exhale. to a neutral position, big breath in, and out. Moving now to the opposite side, left ear to left shoulder. Same exercise, opposite direction. Head slowly moving across the back on the inhale, across the front. Gentle stretch at each point as the head slowly rolls around on the shoulders. Taking a moment to check in with those shoulders, making sure they're falling away from the ears, elbows reaching towards the ground as we slowly rotate the neck. to that neutral spine, deep breath in, and out, excellent. Dropping the left hand to the floor at the side, right arm reaches up and over, right arm back down to grasp the floor, left arm up and over, flowing alternate arms overhead. Imagining a pane of glass in front and in back of the body, holding the spine up nice and tall as the arms freely flow back and forth. Tummy is tight.
seconds left. each direction. I'm going to sit tall, big breath in, and out. Beautiful. Bringing the hands to the shoulders, fingers in front, thumbs in back, we move to twists. Inhaling, twisting the upper body to the left, exhaling, twisting to the right. I invite you to close your eyes and just enjoy the experience. Head can stay stationary or move from side to side with the elbows. seconds left. Bring back to center, holding those arms straight out from the shoulders. Deep breath in. Hold at the top and out. Excellent. Coming now to hands and knees for cat and cow. Knees under hips, hands under shoulders. On the inhale, the belly drops down, chest comes up between the shoulders and the head looks up. On the exhale, alternately arching the back like an angry cat. Inhale down, exhale up. Taking your time, flow through the movement. One, two seconds. Neutral spine, tabletop position, deep breath in and out. Beautiful. Curling the toes under in the back, pushing those hips up towards the ceiling, alternating one heel at a time towards the ground, walking the dog. Gentle stretch for the calves. Now lifting both heels together, slowly lowering them to the ground, settling the heels as close to the ground as is in your practice. Release the head between the arms, push the hips towards the ceiling, pull the belly button to the spine. Taking one or two breaths here. Nice and deep. And we slowly walk our hands towards feet and feet towards hands. Settling the feet comfortably grounded into the floor. Slight bend to the knees, belly rests on the thighs. And here if we're comfortable, we're going to take hands to the upper elbows. Release the head here. Nod the head yes. Shake the head no. Alternately, hands can come to thighs for additional support. We're just going to take one more deep breath here. Now bring hands to the thighs above the knees. We're going to slowly roll up. Count to eight, seven, six, five, four. Had the last come up. Three, two, one. And one, beautiful. Taking the legs wide, 
We're rotating the upper torso, just swinging the arms back and forth. Close the eyes if you don't feel at all unbalanced. And then just enjoy the movement. Tummy is tight. Arms loosely sway back and forth. first exercise in our Kriya now, we're going to bring the feet into a comfortable distance apart, whatever that level is for you in terms of comfort. Hands are out to the sides, palms are facing up. This is our start position and we're going to slowly, gracefully bring the hands together into prayer pose at center. Back out and in. Now there's no instruction on breath, whether you choose to inhale on the way in, exhale on the way out, or the other way, it's totally up to you. Make sure it's slow and methodical movement. Close the eyes, feel the movement, the flow of the hands. Still standing nice and tall. seconds left. Now for part two of this exercise, we continue with the same arms in and out. As we bring the hands together in prayer, pull the navel towards the spine and then release as we exhale. So inhale, the belly button comes towards the spine, and as the hands go out, we release. Inhale, pull tummy in, exhale out. seconds left. Bring the navel to the spine as the hands come into prayer pose, releasing as they come out. and straight as they extend out, fingers point towards the ceiling. One last repetition. 
holding the arms out again at shoulder height and stay up we move to exercise two standing torso tilts so with the arms out at the sides fingers up we're twisting to the left center and right center option to close eyes if that's in your comfort level There's no instruction on the breath. For myself, I like to breathe out on the twist, in on the up, but choose what works for you. To center holding those arms out nice and strong deep breath in and out beautiful releasing the arms down maybe a little bit of a shake <laughs> now our next exercise involves squats now these are the crow squats that we did last week and week previous I'm gonna show you as best as I can arms out at shoulder height, palms up. We're going down to a count of eight. So eight separate movements. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. By the time you hit eight, you should be down in crow pose on the ground with the hands out. Now coming back up is one movement back up to stand eight counts down one count up as you know i can't do this myself as yet so i'm going to do my best beginning in three two one arms out fingers straight sorry straight not up eight counts down to the bottom to crow pose and then one up at your own pace any of these exercises too difficult please take a break come back when you're ready or option to modify in whatever way you need to as you see me do to do the best you can Once you finish your repetition, deep breath in and out, releasing the arms down to the sides. We'll just take a moment here, feeling the energy circulating. Excellent work. Now for the next exercise, our arms are in Venus lock, which means our pinkies on the bottom hands interlaced, thumbs crossed, okay? We start, legs nice, well it says comfortably, feet comfortably apart. Arms out at shoulder height, 
On the inhale, we're reaching the arms up overhead, back bend. Exhale, back to center. Inhale, back. Exhale, to center. At your own pace, beginning in three, two, and one. We bend as far back as you comfortably can. straight. Twenty seconds left. Position. Holding the arms out at shoulder height, deep breath in and out. Beautiful. Gracefully releasing the arms down to the sides. We take a moment. So, for the next exercise, find again that comfortable position for the feet. Arms are out to the sides. We're flapping in this exercise, just like a bird. No positions for the fingers as yet. The arms just go up and down, just like you're flying. Beginning in three, two, and one. Close the eyes if you can. Enjoy the moment. Make it as big or as small as suits. Personally, I like to close my eyes and imagine I'm one of those beautiful birds we see flying outside. Halfway there, 30 seconds left. your breath. Imagine it coming in through the nose and down into any part of your body that may at this point be feeling like it needs some attention. Beautiful. Now for part two of the exercise we're taking the thumbs and we're bringing them to the pad just below the pinky. Thumbs, that's it. And then we're moving back to flying. So taking that same stance, continuing to fly with the pad of the thumb at the pinky. Remember to stand tall, close the eyes, and fly. Flow with your breath, hands up and down. Thirty seconds. That's it. Ten seconds. Deep breath in with the arms up, palms forward, exhale, excellent. 
Coming to seated now for the next exercise. We are seated, easy cross leg pose. Finding that sweet spot, that nice, comfortable spot. Again, the arms are up. Arms are spread in an open V. We're tilting the palms forward at 60 degrees. So they're not straight forward and they're not down. They're at about 60 degrees. We're holding this position, closing the eyes, and mentally chanting the following mantra. Bountiful, beautiful, blissful. I am, I am. With each repetition, bountiful, beautiful, blissful. I am, I am. Pull the belly button towards the spine. Release. Bountiful, beautiful, blissful. I am, I am. Belly button to the spine. Release. And with each repetition of this mantra, as we're pulling the belly button in, vibrate that thought, that mantra, that statement up through the body towards the crown chakra and the third eye, these two spots here. Bountiful, beautiful, blissful. I am, I am. Mentally in your mind. the arms, come back when you're ready, or use your breath to push through. Direct the breath energy to parts of your body that may be requesting a little bit of attention right now. We have 20 seconds left. Bountiful, beautiful, blissful. I am, I am. Belly button to the spine. Almost there. Beautiful. Deep breath in. Hold and hold in pose. Exhale. Gracefully the hands come down to the thighs. Eyes closed. We take a moment. Feeling that energy we've generated circulating through the body. For the next exercise, we're staying in seated pose. Hands come to prayer pose with the thumbs pressed against the third sternum. Pardon me. We are chanting the long satnam. I believe we did this last week. Sitting nice and tall, we're chanting a long sat and short nam. Now you have alternate positions for this if you wish. You can sit in the same position with the forearms clasped towards the belly, either touching or away or out at shoulder height. I'm gonna leave my hands in prayer pose just because that feels more comfortable for me, but choose whatever version feels comfortable for you. And we will begin in three, two, one. We're chanting the sat for eight beats. Sounds like this. So
Exercise. Starting with our hands in prayer, we're chanting Sat and then moving the arms out parallel to the ground. Palms forward, not up, Kathleen, forward. We chant Nam. Sat, Nam. Sat, Nam. Join me when you're ready. Sat, Nam. Sat, Sat Nam means truth is my name. Sat Nam. 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 Sat Set no. Fifteen seconds. Set no. Set no. Set no. Set no. Set no. Last time. Set no. Beautiful. Hands coming back together at heart center. Deep breath in and out. Excellent work. Our Priya is now complete. Finding ourselves down on the ground for a well-deserved Shavasana, especially for those arms, I'm not gonna lie. So find yourself comfortable on your mat. Whether that's legs out, feet fall into the sides, arms either down at the sides, palms up, palms down, or whatever is most comfortable to you. This is sweatshirt and blankie time if that's your favorite way to relax. Option to curl those shoulder blades under in the back. Find that comfortable position. Close down the eyes. And relax, relax.
slowly bringing awareness back into the room. Beginning with small movements of our fingers and toes. And now let's add those wrists and ankles. Slow, lazy circles in one direction. the opposite direction, continuing those wonderful, slow, lazy circles. Raising the arms up overhead, interlacing fingers, reaching those fingers to one end of the room as we point toes to the other. Deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Again, inhale, stretch, stretch, stretch. Exhale through the mouth. Last time, deep breath, stretch the fingers, stretch the toes, inhale. And exhale, releasing the arms out at shoulder height, palms face down. Drawing those feet up just below the buttocks. We're gonna drop both knees to the right and turn the head to the left for two deep cleansing inhales and exhales. Feeling that fresh energy, that fresh prana rushing in through the nose all the way down to the tailbone, filling the body with much needed energy and vitality. And as we exhale, releasing what no longer serves the body. Transitioning the knees through center over to the right, we turn the head to the left. And again, two full inhales and exhales. Wonderful. Knees now back to center. Let's draw them lovingly towards the chest. Wrap the hands around the shins, gentle rock side to side. Little bit of a massage for that lower back. And now two options, gently rolling to the side of coming up to a seated position or rocking and rolling up and down on the spine five times to come to a seated position for our final meditation. Excellent. Finding that comfortable, easy cross leg pose. Well, I find. There we go. Now, our final meditation today is for the third chakra. We're sitting with a straight spine. The chin is in, so it's tucked in a tiny bit. The chest is shining forward. Our eyes are focused on the tip of the nose and the hands are in prayer pose. Now, every part of our hands are touching from the fingers right down to the palms. They're touching each other. The base of the mudra, or where your hands meet, is in the front of the solar plexus, but not touching. We're holding it a little bit out. And the forearms stay parallel to the floor, okay? From here, we're chanting hummy hum brum hum. Hummy hum brum hum. The translation is we are we, and we are God. God in Kundalini means generating, organizing, and delivering. Okay, holding that nice and tall. So we're also using navel pumps for this. So when we say hummy hum, hummy hum, rum hum, hummy hum, rum hum. Okay, so there's two pumps for the hummy hum and then from hum, we pump again. So, holding up nice and tall. We're beginning in three, two, one. Hummy, hum, from hum. 
Ami hum, rum hum, Ami hum, rum hum, Ami hum, rum hum, Ami hum, rum hum, Ami hum, rum hum. Now remember, eyes are focused at the tip of the nose. Ami hum, rum hum, Ami hum, rum hum, Ami hum. Hummy hum, rum 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 hum. Inhaling deeply, pulling the belly button up and in, and taking the tip of the tongue and pressing it to the inside roof of the mouth, holding breath. Exhale. Two more times. Inhale, pull the navel up and in, and the tip of the tongue to the roof of the mouth. Hold. Exhale. Last time. Inhale. Belly button up and in, tip of the tongue to the roof of the mouth, pull, and exhale. Wonderful. Releasing hands to the thighs, eyes closed down. Let's just take a moment in calm silence. That wonderful feeling just after a class where that energy is just. together at the center of the chest, gentle rub before we settle them in. Stay nice and tall in the spine. Feel the crown of the head reach towards the ceiling. Tuck the chin in slightly and eyes closed, focus in between the eyebrows and slightly above. We close our class with a long time sun, followed by a long set, short nom. Inhale deeply and exhale. One more deep breath in and exhale. And we'll inhale to begin. May the long time sun shine upon you. All love surrounds you. And the pure light within you guide your way on, guide your way on, guide your way on. Inhale deeply, long set, short now. So. Now to ground ourselves by bringing forehead and palms to the ground, 
Closing off the energy of today's practice. And coming back up when you're ready. Set the Satnam, my friends. Thank you for joining me for another Kundalini by Candlelight. We meet live every Thursday morning, 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Zoom. Information below if you ever want to come and join the tribe. We would love to share energy with you. Please take a moment to like the video. Subscribe to the channel. I release a new video each week. Have a great day next six, seven days. And I hope to see you back here next Thursday for another Kundalini by Candlelight. My name is Kathleen Osmond. Satnam.